What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest of the ever-growing Galaxy S4 line. This is the Galaxy S4 Zoom because it's got a big zoom on it. Let's go ahead, dig in, see how it looks and check out how it performs and we've got the return of an old friend. Let's get started. So here we've got the box for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active with its familiar fake wood grain. It joins the S4 Mini, the regular S4, and the S4 Active and the really ever-growing Galaxy S4 line of phones. Uh, let me thank our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this guy. Check them out at NegriElectronics.com for all of your unlocked accessory and phone needs. So we've got the return of an old friend for this unboxing. We've got the original obligatory big ass knife the obox senior stabby has made his way back to the office i thought i lost him but i found him at home for those of you guys that don't know him this is the original knife i used for all of my unboxings when i first started it is unnecessarily large it's unsafe and i'm excited to use it again hopefully not slice off my finger so let's put him back to work he was in retirement for a while let's open this sucker up and see what we've got did not slice my finger, so that's nice to have that happen. Um, Galaxy S4 Zoom. Uh, so this guy brings a, obviously, a larger zoom. Uh, but in addition to that, it's a 16 megapixel camera versus the 13 uh, that's found on the regular uh, Galaxy S4. It also steps down on the processor. Uh, obviously, with the Samsung devices, processors are very, very region. This one's the 1.5 gigahertz dual core uh, variety. It's got eight gigs of internal storage, uh, but of course that can be upped with micro SD. And a little slower on the processor here, um, as I mentioned. On the screen though, it's just a 4.3 inch 960 by 540 display, so that's a pretty paltry 256 PPI, but it looks like a smaller Galaxy S4, kind of a Galaxy S4 um, mini. Um, Wi-Fi 802.11 A, B, G, and N, 2300 milliamp hour battery uh, on board. So let's pull off all these stickers. And here is the S4 Zoom. Not so sure you want to keep this in your pocket, uh, but could be a nice point and shoot option with a uh, 10 times optical zoom there. So put that down for just a quick moment and see what else is going to be in the box. We've got a book for all your warranty information. Uh, usual Samsung stuff that we see in the past, charging cable, extra earbuds, the same uh, microphone and um, or, sorry, the same earbuds rather with the noise canceling microphone that we've seen in the past. These are obviously the extra earbuds. Uh, we've got a microfiber cleaning cloth that's new and nice to have. We've got the battery that I mentioned is 2330 milliamp hours, really deep inside of that box. Then we've got a uh, wall wart as well. Um, so let's take a look at the camera and then I will power the sucker on. Uh, we've got a very large and pronounced uh, shutter button. Then you've got the standard sort of phone um, options right there. You've got your volume, which is now on the right side, uh, rocker up and down. Then your uh, power button. On the other side, you've got, this would be a place for the, I'm assuming that comes out, uh, and that's where you can mount it to a tripod. Then your micro SD card slot is on the outside. It's sort of nice to see if they got more room in the body, they could do that. Uh, we've got some lanyard spots. Uh, microphone, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. It still has the IR port uh, that the Samsung Galaxy S4 had. And it is running Android 4.2 at launch. I don't know if it's 4.2.2, but I suppose there's a very easy way to uh, figure that out. Uh, we'll boot it up and we'll see. Let me figure out where the battery in this guy goes. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. I guess somewhere around here uh, is where that battery is going to live. So it looks like you slide that open, that pops out, and the battery drops right in. So we'll take this guy, uh, and again, this is 2330 milliamp hours, and uh, we'll see how the phone looks. Come back in just a sec. Right, so we've got this guy all booted up, but it looks like stock Android with TouchWiz. Let's see what kind of app we're gonna have uh, on board here. Looks like pretty standard stuff. All the S apps, S Translator, S Planner, uh, S Memo, and all the storyboard kind of stuff. Uh, let's jump into settings and see what we are working with. Let's go to my device. Um, and somewhere here it should say my phone. More about device, there we go. Uh, software information status, there we go, 4.2.2. Uh, so it is running the latest version of Android, so that's quite nice. But the big story here is obviously the camera. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into that. 
So the camera interface looks uh, pretty similar to what we've seen uh, on other devices. So despite having that zoom name, uh, the first thing you can feel is there isn't really a very clear zoom button here. Uh, you click, you got to do that. I don't know how you would do that. Uh, you can zoom uh, with the dial on the front of the device. You can zoom right on in pretty close 10 times. If you can tap the focus there. Kind of. So I'm just trying to focus. Doing the best I can. You definitely hear it um, doing uh, its focusy thing. Uh, but other than that, though, it's pretty stam standard uh, Samsung camera affair. Uh, you can go into expert mode and control all of your uh, stuff that you're used to. I'm not really sure what big differences are between this and the Galaxy camera line of devices, um, but this is definitely a thing, um, and it is available uh, for purchase. So I'm going to check it out, see if it's worthwhile uh, as a phone or as a camera or as a camera phone or a well, combine those two uh, famera uh, type device uh, but there's a lot of interesting things that this brings to the table uh, just for comparison's sake here is the standard uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 I see the difference here uh, from the uh, thickness standpoint and here is its little brother Actually, I shouldn't really say little because they're almost identical in size display wise here is the uh, S4 mini uh, so you can see that's probably a more accurate uh, display take the S4 mini uh, and add a pretty giant camera on it you've got the Galaxy S4 zoom uh, but it's a really nice uh, thing to have. I will say having used a Galaxy camera at events and at family gatherings, it's really nice to be able to send pictures, uh, take them and shoot them right off to people's email or take a picture of somebody and say, hey, let me email it to you right now. So there definitely is a use for this, um, but still not sure what differentiating factor between this and uh, the Galaxy camera line again, uh, but certainly uh, we'll use it and uh, let you guys know. Anyway, guys, love to hear your thoughts on this. Leave your comments down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. We must definitely appreciate it. I am John Rettinger and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.